Well, there'll be a bit of a, a roar when uh, one of the super heavyweights in the next contest comes in. Uh, Moldova, Argentina, Philippines, Italy and Australia. That's where the judges are from. The referee is from Poland. And the first man in is going to be from a Kazakhstan. Ruslan Miratsayev. Got to the quarterfinals of the World uh, Championships, but because only uh, four qualifiers came through in this division, he had to go back into Asia and got the only place in the super heavy division as the qualifier in uh, Astanta in uh, his home country of uh, Kazakhstan. Stop the Australian. Dan Bean in uh, just under 50 seconds. Here's the bronze medalist from the World Championships in Chicago last year. That's how he qualified, didn't have to go back into any uh, Asian qualifiers. This is Zhang Zhili, 25 years of age, lost to the Ukrainian Glaskov, who's already qualified, and they will meet in the semi-final should Zhang get through this one. Had an awful contest against an absolutely awful super heavyweight from Morocco who offered nothing whatsoever and uh, Zhang beat him 15 0 and he could have been still in there and the Moroccans still wouldn't have scored a point and that was about five days ago. <laughs> Zhang from China. In red, by far the tall of the two, has the experience of boxing in two world championships. Three years ago, when uh, Yang Yang here in China, he won his opening bout against an Azerbaijani and then lost to Elenio Solis of Cuba, who moved up temporarily to super heavyweight from, from heavyweight. Now defected Solis to the professional ranks, much to the annoyance of the Cubans, because neither the heavy nor super heavy have uh, made it this far. So 1 0 then to Zhang. Definitely having a, a, a bit of a word with uh, Miratsayev. Good right hand by the Kazakh. Missed with another. Zhang really is huge. He's six feet seven inches tall. He's uh, really towering over by some six inches, his opponent. The winner of this to go through to meet the Ukrainian Glaskov, who was less than impressive against his Algerian opponent. Good solid left came through from Zhang. Enormous Chinese boxer. Yeah, tall counter punching southpaw. It's going to be ranks as the worst opponent for um, an orthodox boxer. And that's what we've got here. Zhang absolutely huge. Just working off that jab. He'll use the left uppercut as well. And Maratsev uh, really has got his work cut out here because he's got to get to his man. He can't afford to stay at long range. He's got to get on the inside. And he's got problems here, Jim, big problems. Well, Zhang has got a very low right hand, but he's actually quite quick in his feet for a big man. And that's lovely boxing by Zhang. The first uh, Chinese super heavyweight to win a medal in any major tournament when he got to the semis of the Worlds last year. Bit of a clumsy slap, don't do it again. Sorry, ref. Good opening round by Big Zhang. Look at the sight of him. His opponent's head is coming underneath his chin if they stand up straight. They, they look like they're in, they should be in a different weight division, these pair. Fast left came across and very nearly scored for Zhang Zheli. So uh, he's going to be pretty happy with that. Yep, yeah, good first round from Zhang. Look how he's controlling the distance. That's where he's getting his success. A lovely straight left there. And again, he actually led with the right up to the body and then carried on with a straight left, which hit the target. He's controlling the pace and mainly controlling the gap between himself and Maratsev. All long-range work, 
and a great first round for the Chinese boxer. Nil then to Zhang from China, and this the second quarter final in the super heavyweight division. The winner to go through to meet the Ukrainian Gleiskov. by the man in blue, Ruslan Miratsev. Well, if he's going to win this fight, Miratsev, he's got to take some risks here, Jim. He's got to get to his man, he's got to sustain the pressure a little bit. Um, and he's got to try and restrict um, Zhang's movement. But he just needs to step on the gas and, and have a go. You've got to get to your man here. Yeah, you mentioned the difference in size, Richie, which is very apparent. It's interesting that... Uh, Miratsev uh, boxes at ordinary heavyweight in the World Championship some uh, three years ago. Bit naughty that was, Jim, from Miratsev. Getting frustrated. Just can't get to this fellow. That wasn't a bad right hand of his. He needs to try to step inside. Now that should have scored, and it did score, so 3 1. And a bit of a, a rumble running around the crowd there, but they're still behind their big man. He's picked up another one. I'm not sure where that came from. Was there a right hand on the uh, the side away from this? Wasn't aware of a scoring blow being landed. I think Zhang's tiring with you. Well, he is, yeah. Um, Ratif, you know, he could sit back and uh, try and draw the lead of Zhang, but I just don't think he's got the ability as a counter puncher, Ratif. And if that is the case, he's got to go on the front foot and take the fight uh, to Zhang. If, if he ups the work rate, I think Zhang will tire. And he's far too slow, Moratsev. But him after the draw is the world champion, Roberto Camarelli from Italy, who we will see in the next contest. And then in the very last contest of the evening to complete the semi final lineup of this division. That was a good shot by Zhang. Will be Britain's David Price. Zhang finally got to him. That was not a bad shot at all. The best punch of what's been a fairly. Uh, Ordinary plodding sort of a contest. There's no time for any more. Good finish by the enormous boxer from China. Yeah, great and end to the round there for Zhang. Maritz, Maritziev just making um, the mistake of the feet are far too slow and he's hesitating and staying at long range, plodding forward and just that suit suiting Zhang down to the ground. He's on the back foot here, Zhang, he gets caught with the right hand. That one didn't score, which was really surprising. Then he came back with another right hand straight after that. But, I mean, that was super, really was from Zhang. Good timing, all long-range work, one, two, and there's the long right hook. Cracking Sit shot. down, fella, yeah, it's a good, good punch. Of course, the great uh, Martin Hagger said, if they're on the canvas, they can't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen to that, marvellous. 5-1 then with the halfway stage to the uh, local favourite, Zhang Zhili. Bronze medalist last year in uh, Chicago. Now 6-1 up against his uh, much, much smaller opponent. But at South, is looking, well, out of his depth in the super heavyweight division. He may try wrestling for a profession, but I don't think he's going to be allowed to do that anymore. 7-1 now to Zhang. There's another good shot. That's another good shot. That's going to bring another standing eight. Now, remember, it's three eight counts in one round, or four overall, and it's all over. But he's having a good look at him, he's happy to let him continue. All Zhang has to do is repeat the dose if he can. This long-range work, Jim, isn't it? Straight left hand, he can't miss with it. But I actually think if Maratsev was to up the work right here, this I, I think Zhang he wouldn't he likes to he prefers a slower fight, a slower pace. Look at him holding on the inside. It's long range or nothing with Zhang. 
Has he got one make one more big shot in by the end of this round? If he does, I don't think the referee will wait for a third standing count. Keep the punches up. He's having a glance, you can see that. Left hand cocked and ready to be thrown. Very nearly landed with it. Well, that's Jeff chasing, it's a bit of a lost cause for him. All he needs is one big shot himself, and I don't think he's going to trouble this enormous Chinese boxer. Got him again, not a huge amount behind that. That's not a bad little move from Zhang there, just slips to the right, throws the right um, hook to the body and then carries on with a straight left to the head. It's, it's a move that's paid off tonight for him a couple of times. Just glancing up at the crowd and at his corner. Seems to be somewhere else. But he's only two minutes away from uh, giving our host here in Beijing a second Olympic boxing medal. They've already got one man through to the semi-finals. And a giant super heavyweight. Zhang Shili, the 25-year-old, is only a couple of minutes away from being the second. Kazakhstan, likewise, have got one, but I don't think their super heavy is going to make it. That was good footwork by Zhang, lovely bit of movement there, actually. Turned his man very quickly and unleashed a very good left hand with. That was impressive. Yeah, and here, straight right and then a straight left. What a shot that was. Just a classic long-range work. He's boxing to his strength, is Zhang keeping his distance, and he's boxing the right tactics, but he's controlling the pace and the tempo, which is important for him. And he's winning, he's well winning it now. There you go, 2-1. And 5-1. The biggest Chinese boxer there's ever been is less than two minutes away. Having become the first Chinese super heavyweight to win a medal in the World Championships, he's about to become the first Chinese super heavyweight to win a medal in the Olympic Games. So there'll be double celebration. Ruslan Baratsev from Kazakhstan, only 23 years of age, boxes a 20-year-old heavyweight in the World Championships, and looks what he's doing, he'll probably boil down to heavy again. He's far too small for this division. Although, as we saw from, as we mentioned, the wonderful Roberto Ballado, you don't have to be a giant to be a good super heavy. But he was an exception. 11-2 to Zhang. You would think that Maratsev may have a little bit more speed than Zhang, especially with his feet, but he, he really is um, very slow on his feet coming forward, and that's just suiting Zhang down to the ground, it really is. Well, Zhang, I have to say, there's no way in sleep in terms of movement. Eleven two to Zhang. If you watch Zhang uh, box, Jim, everything is long range. He scores at long range, and when his opponent comes close, he holds. So that's not his strength, you see. He's hardly thrown a shot on the inside. All long range work, bringing him onto the shot. There you go. Oh, that's a good left. That's a cracking shot. Cracking shot. That's the third eight count. Did he give an eight count? No, he didn't, there, did absolutely he? Absolutely amazed at that, because that was a peach. Well, why did he not give that? Did he think that was a slip? An extraordinary piece of refereeing. What was he doing? Well, I'd like to have another look at that one, but... Uh, as far as I was concerned, Zhang landed, that was a bit of an open slap. Maratsi are very tired, the clock is ticking away. And China will have a second Olympic boxing medal. And having got a bronze in the World Championships, this enormous fella, nearly six feet eight inches tall, Zhang Zili has earned China an Olympic medal. Bronze and the chance of silver and gold, and he goes into the semi-final to meet a man who beat him in the world last year, Glasgow from the Ukraine. The Satsyev from Kazakhstan simply wasn't big enough. Good performance from Zhang.
classic case of, of boxers boxing to his strengths. And um, I think he definitely deserved another standing count, perhaps uh, saving that last round. But uh, good performance from Zhang overall. Well, guess who's won? It's a heavyweight from China.